Hi everyone, this is Ashwagal. Today I have with me a very special guest. He is Shakir Riyaz. He has recently grabbed an international internship offer from Amazon Cambridge UK. And we are going to discuss with him how he got to know about this opportunity. What was the difficulty level of this international offer? We'll talk about the different rounds, how he was able to ace those rounds and deep analysis of how can you get to that dream international offers. So starting with a brief introduction of Shakir. Yeah, so hey everyone, I'm Shakir Riyas. I am from Jammu. I completed my schooling from uh, JK, JK Public School. I scored around uh, 90% in 10th and 91% in 12th class. And then I gave uh, JE mains in the same year and I scored 96.72 percentile and 99 percentile in mathematics alone. And so I joined NIT Srinagar in CSE branch. I have been doing coding for around uh, two and a half years and I have a strong grasp over data structure and algorithms and in my initial years of college I also used to do competitive programming and but uh, now I uh, but now I do lead code uh, yeah so I I have strong hold over a DSA and I recently secured an internship offer at Amazon Cambridge UK so yeah so okay. great great that's great to hear about your entire experience we'll come on to this exact offer details like uh, so first of all the most important thing is how you actually applied because people generally what happens is they apply on the portal they don't get test link someone like they think of getting a referral after that also some people don't get the test link so how did you actually apply when did you apply and how did you get the response so I applied around in the month in the start of February I applied mm -hmm. I uh, I heard the notification from LinkedIn and I applied at the career site without any referral and I think after three to four days I received their test link. The online assessment mm -hmm. consisted of two parts like there were two online assessments. The first online assessment consisted of two coding questions and the total time duration was 70 minutes. The okay. level of the question I would say that they were of a little you know random questions not your standard questions but they were easy uh, CP questions. So I was able to solve them in around uh, 20 minutes and the second uh, online assessment consisted of a uh, work life uh, work life assessment. Uh, they were they were simply HR questions and uh, they were simply based on Amazon leadership principles. So yeah, that was all about the online assessment. Before we end with the studio, I would like to mention about Geeks for Geeks Summer Carnival. So Geeks for Geeks is organizing the Summer Carnival from 5th April to 11th April in which you will get a lot of different things. Let's see what are those different things. So Geeks Summer Carnival is being organized from 5th April to 11th April in which you will be seeing 15% flat discount on all your favorite courses. It's in association with Beva Poof, Rage Coffee and Student Peeps. Also, there are different offers like site-wide you will be getting 15% off. Also, there is a stall of the day in which you will be getting 20% off on all the live courses. Also, there is 20% off, off on all self-paced courses. You can see different courses that are available. DSS self-paced, complete interview preparation, full stack. Also, some new courses in data science, Gate, Flipkart test series, React.js. Events are there. Get a job, load code mode, uh, the geeky discord, freebies, code per deem and live learning so these are different events that they're organizing flash sales and stall of the day are coming soon also there's an option of spin the wheel you fill out your details and you spin the wheel and you will be getting some amazing things some amazing discounts some amazing offers so don't forget to check out the, the link is there in the description for geek summer carnival so make sure if you're looking out for preparation you can check that out also if you're looking forward to purchase any of the courses from geeks for geeks you can use my code arshg and you'll be getting an additional 10 percent discount on that so let's move on to the video. So uh, you applied on their portal directly without any referral and you got the test link and you gave the test and that was how that's how the process began right. So after that like once you uh, cleared that online test in that work style assessment and the code coding test you were able to su successfully solve those. So after that you got into interview rounds. So if I talk about interview rounds, so what was uh, the most important thing or how many interview rounds were there? What were the things that were focused in those interview rounds? Yeah, for the intern position, there was only one interview round and it was of uh, 60, around 60 minutes duration. And the pattern of the interview was like uh, first 25 minutes was uh, given to the behavioral questions and the next 30 mm -hmm. minutes was given to a coding question 
and the last five minutes were given to if we have any question for the interviewer like that part okay okay so if i talk about a uh, general behavioral question so what kind of behavioral question because uh, people are confused about these behavioral questions also like what all things to keep in mind while answering those behavioral questions or anything that you had in your mind while you were answering those questions yeah so the behavioral questions were uh, based on my life uh, or my work experience um yeah so i would suggest that uh, you should uh, prepare them uh, before but uh, the question which i which i was asked uh, i didn't prepare them before i just gave the answer uh, on spot but uh, we should keep in mind that uh, some points uh, like uh, it should be uh, work related not some uh, personal personal life matter yeah so if i talk about the difficulty level of that coding question so how would you rate the difficulty level of the coding question in the interview yeah the coding question i think was of a medium level but there were a lot of follow ups uh, asked to that question so that would make it around a medium to hard level okay 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 and uh, so that was just a single interview round that was uh, held yeah yeah there was only one round for the intern position uh, after that you were finally given this offer right after around 8 days i received a mail from the recruiter that i have uh, uh, cleared my interviews and so they want to offer me the position of the st intern that's great that's great to hear and you will be actually going on site and working at their cambridge office if i'm uh, if i'm yeah. uh, not wrong right? i was given three location preferences uh, one was bristol and the second one was cambridge okay. and the third one was edinburgh so uh, i choose uh, i chose cambridge great 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 and if i talk about uh, like what is the exact compensation or the stipend that they would be giving you for this particular role yeah so the stipend is uh, 3500 pounds per month uh, apart okay, from the uh, relocation uh, stipend uh, the relocation stipend i think in the in the london area is around uh, 1200 euros per month so it's 1200 euros per month and 3500 pounds per month as the launch of stipend that's totally amazing congratulations once again shakir for Thank this you. amazing offer like uh, we have discussed about the entire process what all things you did so uh, like before this also you might have had interview rounds in different companies so if you talk about if you compare the indian uh, like uh, the level of interviews in india for sg intern positions and level of uh, interviews for the intern positions in international uh, companies or international uh, locations so what difference did you find or uh, how would you compare both of these so uh, this uh, amazon one was uh, my first interview but after uh, okay. after two or three days i also had uh, also had some interviews with uh, goldman sachs so i okay. would i would rate uh, the difficulty of both uh, were around the same but i think that amazon focus uh, focuses more on other qualities as well like goldman was just uh, we should solve the coding question and that's it but uh, in mm-hmm. amazon Uh, they were focusing on a lot of things like uh, if we have good communication skills and if we have good presentation skills whether uh, whether the solution we are present uh, is pres- we are presenting is clear to them so yeah great 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 so I mean, uh, thought thought process thought process matters understood 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 uh, so uh, like i think this was something that gave them a very crisp and clear idea on how they can apply for international <laughs> offers uh, the last thing and the most important thing is like any advice you would like to give to someone who is looking out for such international offers be it from application point of view be it from preparation point of view anything that you would like uh, that you would find it suitable for from application point of view i would say that uh, you should apply uh, with a referral and uh, your resume should be uh, very good like i have been mm-hmm. working on my resume i think for the past uh, one year or two years so yeah so and other things i would suggest for international office is that your communication skills matters a lot and your thought process matter a lot like uh, you should not cram uh, cram the dsa questions like this is the solution and that's it that's not how it's going to work there great 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 so i'll share the links of social media handles of shakir in the description below you can connect with him you can talk to him about any of the doubts that you have related to international offers so that was it for this particular video i hope you people like this amazing video thank you so much shakir for taking your time and sharing your journey here on this video uh, we'll see you in some other video till then all the best good luck bye bye